guys, welcome back to Fun Facts About the Saints, and, um, as you just heard, you just heard the beautiful, loving song of, um, uh, I, I church him, but, um, anyway, um, today we have a very special guest, St. Romuald. Oh, hi! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little hard of hearing, I got this thing over my head. <laughs> oh my. Yes, St. Romuald, welcome, uh, uh, thank you, um, glad to be here, Nick. Greetings from the 11th century. <clears throat> okay, so, um... Here, greetings. <laughs> I, I, I want people to see you. Hi. There we go. <laughs> greetings. <laughs> Salutations. Hey, John. Um, uh, <clears throat> um, so, um, the first question is, um... Sorry, trying to get my habit here situated. All right, continue. You, you keep talking. <laughs> anyway, um, Pope. Stop Pope. it! <laughs> Sorry. It. I think St. Romeo should be zoned on here. All right, can we please continue with the interview? <laughs> I got to get back to my prayers. <laughs> oh, of course. <clears throat> okay, so, um, the, the first question is, um, why, um, um, uh, do you want to ask about how my vocation was associated with my father's murdering of that other man? Yeah, that. All right. That's a good <laughs> question, Nick. You are, Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I, I was in my, I, I grew up in a wealthy home and had a youthful, I, my, my uh, youthful years were spent in dissipation. Um, kind of wasted my, I was wasting my life. And then mm. my dad had me accompany him to a duel in which he killed a man. And I was so distraught by that, that I decided to, it led to my conversion. Uh, and I had a, I spent the next 40 days, I think, or anyway, a period of time trying to expiate that, uh, that murder, that sin of my father's. Uh, and that led to a religious vocation in which I decided to become a monk and dedicate my life to uh, to God and to prayer. Mm. How did you become? Uh, how did you become a, a victim uh, um, of calumny? Calumny? Yeah, that. Where's that? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> um, that that's we're jumping ahead there. So um, I was I grew up. Um, in uh, the late 10th century and uh, 11th century, I, I, I lived. So this is the 10 hundreds. This is right uh, right around 1000, the year 1000. Mm. Uh, and I saw so I was a monk for a while, but I decided I wanted a more austere uh, monastic life. Uh, and so eventually I established my own community in Tuscany, Italy, mm. grew up in Italy, okay. uh, which became known uh, in an area called the Camal de Lee. And this became uh, the Kamal Delis order. So the Kamal Delis uh, are a is a religious order, and they're still around uh, here today in the 21st century for mm. you guys. Mm. Wow. But my order that I founded was very strict, very austere, and the monks that belong to the Kamal Delis order all live as hermits. So it's basically a community of hermits. Uh, and they only come together to celebrate mass. Uh, so once a day or once a week, even just on Sundays, whatever the order, whatever the rule is, they only come together uh, as a community. So it's like a community of hermits. They only come together to celebrate mass, and then they go back to their cells. Mm. Um, but they dedicate these are the Kamal de Lees and the and the uh, my monks are like the green beret uh, of the church. They are very very. Um, committed prayer warriors uh and uh they are praying for us and the world all the time mm. um no, I didn't. okay yeah continue with your book report uh anyway as i was saying um w um i died Oh, how did you die? Okay, so I died in monas in the monastery in the year ten twenty seven, and then Pope Gregory the one two three thirteenth 
<laughs> canonized me in 1582. Uh, so today is my feast day, St. Romuald. Mm. Uh, but uh, you're gonna if you're gonna go to mass today, you'll see you'll note that it's not being celebrated today because today in the calendar of the church, my feast is being bumped uh, by the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And um, the Sacred Heart of Jesus is a feast in which we uh, commemorate the love of Christ, uh, that his heart um, is so filled with love uh, mm. for all of us. Uh, and the closer we get to the heart of Jesus, the closer we get to God. Um, and so we are always oriented to wanting to um, get close to Jesus so that we can get close to his love and that we can become vessels of his love in the world like the Kamal Delis, mm. like St. Romuald. Uh, we could all, we don't have to be monks. We don't have to be Kamal Delis monks and hermits to be in love with Jesus, to be lovers of Jesus. Uh, we want to just get as close to Jesus as possible through our prayer, through the sacraments, uh, and through serving a service of others and pouring out our lives for others, mm. just like St. Romuald and his monks. Well said, St. Romuald. Wow, thank you. I am a saint after all. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to end with a prayer? <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> all right, continue. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, everybody. <clears throat> it's Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, aim to the things of this world. Let us be holy and heartily committed to heavenly things. In imitation of example of evangelical perfection, you have given us in St. Romuald the Abbot. Amen. St. Romuald, pray for us. Oh, I will. Awesome. Okay. And then, <laughs> Son of the Holy Spirit, man. Amen. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, and we'll see you next time here on Pump Facts Love the Saints. Oh, one quick thing, though, is that... um. I'll probably be at, keep, I'm saying this throughout the days I'll be here, because, but, um, I will be leaving next Thursday for a trip, so, um, just I'll let you all know, and... Special yeah. guest, tune in on Wednesday for a special visit from St. Elizabeth on the feast of the birth of St. John the Baptist, so we're going to have a visit from his mom. Amazing stuff. So stay tuned for those things. Um, and um, just remember that I'm leaving next Thursday. So, um, yeah. So thank you all for watching this video. And we'll see you next time here on Fun Facts About the Saints. Bye, everybody.